Yeah, hello everyone. My name is Sagar Prajapati, and in this video, I will be talking about how to convert a PyKit files into a Delta files. Okay. So before the video, I would like to introduce my channel, Geek Coders. Here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, Python, SQL, and so on. You can watch out my playlist by going to this playlist option, and you can see like we have you know multiple uh, playlists present over here, like Python for Beginners, Python Interview Series. Here we have like around nine questions. Apart from this, we have a playlist of uh, Azure Data Factory. And then we have a SQL interview series also, and then Databricks and so on. Like you can see, like we have multiple series over present over here. Okay, so if if you are someone who is looking for a job in data Azure Data Engineering field, then you can uh, you know you can go and watch these videos. I believe that it will be useful for you and for your friends also. So if like if you think like. Then you can share these videos to your friends and uh, uh, you know. Okay, so chalo, let's get started for today's video. So the question is, the problem statement is that you know we have some kind of packet files, okay, stored in this ADLS or we can say in any external storage file system, and now we need to convert into the delta log file. I mean the delta files or delta tables. How how we can do that, right? So for now, for for that purpose, you know, I am going to create one uh, one data data set we can say a data frame, and I am going to store into this location. So you can copy this code, and even though I have uh, I, I I have taught this this before, how can how we can create a fake data set? Okay, now you can see we have this df. So if I try to display this df, then you can see we have uh, uh, some data, first name, last name, gender, and email. Okay. So we have around more than we have around hand or uh, hundred rows. Cool, because we have given a hundred. Forget about this. What what I will do now? If I if I do here DB utils. Okay, let me click on this plus button. And if I do this DB utils dot fs dot ls, then you can see we have this success committed, and then we have this part files. Okay, we have this part files, right? And you can also see this is the packet format. Okay, we do not we like this. This files are being stored in a in a packet format, not in a delta format. Okay, now what what we need to do? We need to convert these packet files into into the delta files. What I will do? I will import first. I will install this pip install delta. Okay. So you can also write it write like this, and even though you can you can install it from a UI, like you know, go to this compute option and then click. I mean, choose your the uh, choose your uh, uh, cluster. Go to this libraries option, and you can install it via from this option also. You can install, but I am not installing via this, by via this. So let me go back. Okay. I hope it has been. I think it it is installed. Okay, recommended reset device. Cool. Now what I will do? I will just write here help delta to understand what does this delta means and you know what are the methods or class present over here. Now you can see we have these classes. Okay, uh, delta dot tables dot delta table, and inside this we have kind of uh, you know kind of uh, Modules like alias clone. We can clone our delta table, then clone at time stamp. Then we have this clone at version, and so on. We have it. Okay, you can you, you can go and read it. Here, one more class is present. That is, uh, I mean, there is uh, one more uh, function or module that is convert to delta. You can see the first parameter is Spark session, second one is identifier, which will be in a string format, and third one is a partition schema. It is optional. Okay, it is optional. I mean, by default, the value is none. Cool. You can also read this. Uh, uh, read this. Read this description also. Like create a delta table from the given packet table. Takes an existing packet table and construct a delta transaction log in the base path of the table. Any changes to the uh, table during the conversion process may not result in a consistent state at the end of the conversion. User should stop any changes to the table before. So suppose you like any job is running, uh, you know, then you have first you have to stop that job. 
do this exercise and then again rerun your process otherwise you know something wrong happen okay now this is the uh, you know this is the syntax so i just copy this syntax and i go above i'll go above over here and okay i'll have to import this delta delta dot tables import star okay now you can see here the convert to delta function takes first parameter as spark session in this case spark and second one is the location so for for us the location is this cool the location is this chalo let's run this it is completed now what if if i do this db utils dot fs dot ls again now you can see we have this delta log present over here okay now what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, going to call this is delta table module and uh, here also i have to pass the spark session and then and then the uh, file location okay so i'm passing this let's see now you can see this is the this it is showing that this is the delta table because the delta log is present delta log file is present cool now what if if i if i have this uh, you know this data a data frame or the or, you know the file or the table in a partition format so for that i am writing this partition partition by and i am partitioning based on gender okay and what i fit i do i'll make it this test one doing it is running okay mm, we can run this also and we can run we can run this also see it is showing false now this is not a this is not a, a delta table and even though you can see here we do not have any delta log present for this test one file which is the new file i created just now now i what i am going to do i am just simply write this thing and just change the file uh, file name make sure see i have i have used here partition by so the our table or our file or the data is partitioned by by the gender column now i am just simply converting my packet files into the delta format see it thrown an error not a dbfs stream now what we have to do first one is the spark session second one is the uh, packet file location and third one is the partition if your the you know if your file is partition or if your table is partition then you have to you have to write the column so right now i am passing here gender string okay and i just run this it is running and if i run this uh, check whether the table is delta or not it will it should give me true see it is true okay and even though if i run this then you can see we have delta log file present over here cool now what i will do i will i will do this exercise again test and test 2 okay and instead instead of gender what i will do i will pass here first name uh, let's say email say okay let's say email 
I am passing. Okay. And let's see what will happen. If I pass here email, then will it do or not? See now this I mean this uh, uh, the the conversion has been done, and what if if I if I check the uh, kind of thing now you can see. I mean okay gender female name email. Okay. So we have oh shit. Okay, so the I have to change the change the name. Huh. Now if I do now we'll see whether it's working or not. It gave the same thing. So if something uh if there is an issue in the uh, in, in the partition column then it will throw an error. Okay, what you can do, see, suppose I am, suppose I am, I have one more file with, uh, sorry, 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 let me cancel it, but uh, this gender column and let's say this email column. So I am partitioning based on gender as well as email. Okay, if I run this and then we will have, we will have. Uh, based uh, we will have the partitions based on the gender and the email so we'll have couple of uh, folders present over here because you know email is a very normalized thing normalized i mean the the green the green is email here right now what if run this then you if i run this then you can oh, why it is why did it not come Mm, it should come over here right okay this gender right if I go to under this gender now you can see we have this emails and other stuff I mean we have this email uh, folder present over here now what I will do what I will do I will write here first gender okay gender string comma email string and just run this see it is running and what I will do I will just remove this and we will see because now I, I partitioned on two columns not a single column okay that's why I have given here two Two values or two parameters you can say not two parameters two values inside this uh, parameter I mean in, inside this partition parameter okay okay it's taking some time okay it is done and if I run this it is 817 right okay it's already showing this this is the delta log what if if I go inside this then you can see we have the data present over here okay so I hope that you understood how can we just uh, convert the packet files into the into the delta into into the delta files or delta tables okay like it's very simple thing like you just need to pass the delta uh, you know just uh, packet location and if it is partition then you can partition otherwise you can skip or you can you can skip this uh, uh, parameter okay and this is also one function to check whether the table is whether the table is partitioned or i mean the table is delta or not you know for just if I write their test three, then you can see this is this comes to two it means it is a delta table okay so if you if you have understood this concept please uh, like the video and uh, share with your friends so that you know everyone will get benefited from this video okay bye bye thank you